Okay, everybody, this is just a quick demo. I figured out today that I could um, basically mirror my foreflight on my iPad into the airplane in VR in X-Plane. And that's using a, an app called Lonely Screen that allows you to share what's on the iPad with a PC in a window just like you would with screen mirroring. I'll just show how I'll do this. Um, it's dead simple. Download uh, Lonely Screen, uh, register, although I'm running the trial at the moment and then cast what's on your iPad to the PC. It just shows up as a screen share option. Then if I go into Oculus Dash and share my desktop, then I can grab this. It's got four flight running on it, as you can see. I can put it here in the airport plane with me, pin it, and then return to X-Plane. And there it is, and importantly, it does everything that is happening on my screen. So that's me manipulating it with the iPad. You can see our location there. If I wanted to pull up charts, I'm looking here with my another corner of my there's the taxi diagram for Tampa. And obviously, if you wanted to pull up IFR charts, I bet we could do that the same way. Let's go back to Tampa. I can't see where my fingers are, but I can look underneath my Oculus Rift headset, pick a departure chart, and there we go. Works really well in real time. Pretty awesome. I tried sizing it so that it was here, but it was too, just too small. So I think uh, that's kind of a good place for it. And uh, no frame rate hit, as near as I can tell. So there you go. Four flight running inside inside the uh, sim. Let's turn on a weather layer and see if that works. How about that? Snowing up north. So that is pretty awesome. If you have four flight, you know, it's $100 a month, but if you spend a lot of time simming or a real world pilot, it's clearly worth it. It's an excellent electronic flight bag and does everything that you might want it to do. And now it's in the virtual world with us, which is pretty slick. Okay, so there you go. Again, just to show how we did that again, you're going to be using Oculus Dash. I have it open on my desktop as a window. I grab it, size it wherever I want it to be. If I wanted it to be here, kind of like on the yoke, I could. Pin it. Turn to the game. And there it is in front of us. Of course, I can't see my altimeter or anything now, but you get the gist. If you wanted it to be like a kneeboard, I might be able to do that. Grab it. Well, that's probably easiest because having it as sort of a kneeboard is probably what we would do in the real world anyway, and I can make it a little bigger. Pin it. Back to the airplane. And there we are. A kneeboard with four flight running on it. And then when I look down underneath my headset, it's actually pretty close to where I'm looking. Doesn't match up exactly, but close enough here that I can certainly see the freaks and things that I need to see. All right, so check it out. Uh, I'm assuming any screen mirroring software would allow this to happen, in which case you can have your foreflight with you in virtual reality. All right, thanks for watching on the Glide Slope, and happy flying.